Good morning. Congressman McCall was on Fox News yesterday. He said police are now questioning one of Condit's roommates to see if he knew Condit was making those bombs inside of their home. During a town hall meeting last night, Chief Manley could not confirm that piece of information. But what he could tell us is that they do not know a motive behind the bombings. Last night, city leaders gave some more information about the investigation. They say each community is processing the bombings differently. It's been less than a week since federal and local authorities identified a suspect responsible for the string of bombings that killed two people and injured four others. Police are still looking into what could have been done differently. For instance, when Chief Manley says APD changed the classification of victim Anthony House's death from homicide to a suspicious death, he says they made a comment that was uncalled for, and for that, he apologizes. Uh, a member of our team went out there and reclassified it as suspicious and a comment along the lines of we couldn't rule out that he wasn't the bomb maker and the bomb exploded on him. That's wrong. Absolutely wrong. He had an eight-year-old daughter, and that was the conversation I had with the team so we could all learn from this. Uh, if you have knowledge of, of someone doing something like this, making bombs and bombing uh, the community and terrorizing the community, you have an obligation and a duty to report that. Uh, if not, you have knowledge and you're complicit with the conspiracy. Getting to know your neighbors is, is a key part of keeping our community safe. There's only so much you can do with having patrol cars driving around a neighborhood. We have to take control over the safety of our own communities. Now, a lot of people are upset officials are not calling the bomber a terrorist. That's one thing Manley says they will look into. Back to you.